Um, Pat talked about it a little bit. When, when you're looking to hire, and you're looking to hire uh, students out of college, what are like a couple characteristics or attributes that you are looking for in a graduate? And, and you know, try to be specific about, you know, is it grade point average, is it portfolio, is it, or is it personality? If you could, I'll kind of give you a little answer, that'd be great. Okay, yeah, just to repeat, we're trying to video and audio record this, is a, what specific attributes do you look for when you're looking for someone to hire or whatever else? Let's start with the guys this time. Start with yeah, um, in an agency, it's a portfolio, um, so it's, it's a, a look at your creative work is the most important thing you come in with. Um, but personality is really big. Meek people die in advertising yeah. agencies. Um, it's a very cutthroat, competitive, crazy, chaotic place. So we look for people who are who are bold, who, who aren't afraid to speak up. And not that you can tell that all in an interview or, or you know, spending spending a couple minutes with somebody, but you, you do get the sense of someone. So so we want people who, who we can tell have a backbone, who have an opinion. Um, and also people who are, you know, willing to put up with chaos and have a have a lot of fun in in, in it too, and that, that can handle a lot of stress. So I, you know, I don't know how you find all that, but in talking to people, if people are kind of applying, I mean, they'll die in the agency. I mean, it, it just it, it won't work out for them, and it'd be just as bad of a choice for them as it would be for you. I I sort of evaluate against the four E's. Um, you know, cop a little bit from Jack Welch and put my own little twist on it. Um, I really don't care about grade point average. I really don't care about uh, the, the size or number of your degrees. Um, it's not entirely true. If, if you don't reach a certain threshold, then I'm not having the conversation. But the reality is, uh, I want to know, are you enthusiastic? Um, are you excited about being in my office talking to me that day? And, and is that going to translate to excitement that you're going to bring to my team in our environment every day? I want to know if you have energy. Um, you know, in, in my world, I live in 24/7 storytelling. Um, six domestic networks at ESPN, a 24/7 digital space for ESPN.com and our mobile platforms, 24/7 for our, our ESPN radio outlets. And I need to know that you can work long hours and aren't concerned about working nights and weekends because last time I checked, that's when games are played. Um, and as my lovely and talented wife will, uh, will no doubt attest, I've worked many nights and weekends in my life. Um, I need to know that you have edge. Are you going to take a look at a problem and solve it in a way that's interesting or, or um, you know, sort of to, to use the cliche out of the box? Are you, are you bringing a personality and a point of view that is additive to my team as opposed to being a duplicative, uh, duplicative of everyone else that we have in the organization? And, you know, execution. You know, my, my favorite witnessism is do not confuse activity with achievement. <laughs> and there is so many people in this world who, and, and you know, a few people on my team, although they, they aren't the team very long if they do that, um, think, well, I got stuff done, but yeah, did it make a difference? Did it distinguish us? Did it make us better? Or is it, did you fill your day? Because if you're coming to fill the day, yeah, I really don't have time for that. I, need, I work in an environment that we are constantly trying to, to push the outer edge, to, to, to do storytelling in a way that is compelling across platform in ways that it's never been done before, but also with the core sort of fundamentals of doing it right. And you know that, that execution, whether it is the quality of writing, the demonstrative reporting, the, um, you know, the to some degree, the, your work background and the places you've worked and the experience you've gained in those places, or to the previous question, the internships, how aggressive were you were going out and trying to push yourself? Um, those are the criteria I look at, and, and I look at that from the person who is 22 years old and coming to knock on my door for the first time for the first job, and it's the same criteria I use when I do my performance evaluations of our most senior writers and editors. Um, I think those criteria are, are, are vital, uh, at least for me, you know, throughout your career span. Do you have the ability to adapt and change and take on new things that you haven't tried before? That's a big one for me. Um, you need to have the fundamentals we've talked about, but try something new, try something different, take on something that 
that you have no experience in and give it a whirl and see how it goes. Um, can you take a little criticism and, and go ahead and improve yourself? Will you listen? Are you coachable? Can you take some advice and turn it into something positive and, and grow when you're on the job? Um, we could have a lot already. I, think I keep running out by the time we get to the job. <laughs> running out of steam. But really have those fundamentals. Be energetic and, and willing to work and get the job done. Spend the time. If you have to spend the time and be on the job long hours, that's what you need to do. Um, first and foremost, and I say this as an ad person coming out of journalism school, if you have a spelling error, I don't want to see you. Take the time to at least create a resume that has words spelled correctly. And it's, it blows my mind that I still, that it passes HR to begin with, that things come through like that and logically right. I mean, it, it seems, again, so fundamental, but even in what I do, if you can't put a sentence together and you can't coherently even put it, you know, on one page, a piece of paper to get it through, how am I going to know that I don't have to follow up on everything that you do put out there? And, you know, in the days of time and era of texting, I know people do that, and there's some sort of social communication that's fine, but in, it's still a professional situation. You still want to put your best foot forward. So keep that in mind, because it's not something that I'll blow over at all. Um, but assuming that those fundamentals are there, I think it's about being flexible. Um, and in my job, wherever I go, I think our company motto is, you know, are you comfortable with ambiguity? <laughs> if, if you can, if you want to come in and this is exactly what, well, that's not my job, it's not going to cut it. I mean, people don't get cut it in the jobs that they have now. Be open to a lot of different things. Be adaptive. And I think at Pat's point, what do you want to do? What are you excited about? You know, what do you, even if you're wrong, I'd rather pull you back push the rope to try to get you to do it. I don't have enough time out there. So be excited. I'd rather kind of tone it down. But let's see what you guys got. And you're coming in with so much additional social media skills <laughs> that you have that uh, edge. And that's the talent that I think you can really bring forth. But don't lose the fundamentals. And I think that's the great thing about Ashkosh, you know, even as an accredited program, that's critical. So don't lose that. Edge. And by the way, I think it's a great point about typos, and, and I can tell you, number one criteria, get my name spelled right. You spell my name wrong, uh, I have a stack. <laughs> I keep them, actually, a stack. Just to, and it's about this high now of people that have sent me cover letters with my name spelled wrong. Pretty sure you're not getting at the door as a journalist at that point if you can't get that fundamental right. Sorry. 